Syracuse and Minnesota in the Pinstripe Bowl. Minnesota currently a 10-point favorite. The total sits at 42. This one's on Thursday, December 29th at 1 p.m. Central Time. It's another ESPN Bowl game. And let's pull up the numbers here. We've got Minnesota by 10.32 based on all of the data from week eight on. So right on the number. Uh, now, what this model does not do is take out individual players. So like Sean Tucker, the running back for Syracuse, sitting out. Uh, Tony White, the defensive coordinator, being gone to Nebraska. The offensive coordinator, Robert Anai, being gone. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of an issue for Dino Babers and Bunch. You look at what is happening with Syracuse. Number 108 PPA margin. Right now, that's predicted points added margin. Since week eight, Minnesota is number 46. Uh, the strength of schedules, very similar. Uh, Syracuse, number 53. Minnesota, number 59. In that, uh, I think Minnesota is just a significantly better team. Tanner Morgan, it appears, is, uh, is going to try and play in this one. It, that Minnesota defense, really, really good against the run. And you see here that Syracuse not good at throwing the football. Number 126 PPA per pass since week eight. Number 124 in passing success rate. Garrett Schrader just is not able to get it done, and teams have figured out how to key in on him. At that Minnesota defense, uh, not going to have to worry about the pass too much, I don't believe, because I think that they are going to run the football a little bit more here. Um, I could be wrong. I mean, they're, they're throwing the ball 56% of the time. A lot of that maybe has to do with the fact that they get behind in these games, or at least have. Uh, was not a good end of the year. I'll say that for Syracuse. And that Minnesota rushing defense, like that's that's what Syracuse was a little bit better at. Number 87 PPA per rush. Uh, Minnesota number 10 PPA per rush allowed. Number 12 in rushing success rate allowed. Uh, they're number 20 in offensive line yards allowed. Like it, I just don't know how Syracuse is going to be able to score in this game other than maybe uh, some big plays. Um, and maybe, I mean, because Minnesota's number 69 in rushing explosiveness allowed, number 81 in passing explosiveness allowed, but it's not like Syracuse is graded either one of those. On the other side, like, Minnesota's going to try and run the football. Um, and you look at rushing success rate, like number 55 for Minnesota's offense, number 119 for Syracuse's defense. The PPA per rush is uh, is about the same. Number 67 for Minnesota's offense, number 62 for Syracuse's defense. There's, uh, there's things there. There's there's things there. So you look at all of the intangibles, uh, penalties per game, turnover margin. Like Syracuse is the most penalized team in the country. Number 131. They're averaging almost nine penalties per game. And Minnesota is only averaging 3.7 per game. They're number two in the country. Uh, turnover margin, pretty equal. Points per play margin, Minnesota is significantly better. Net points per drive, Minnesota is significantly better. Uh, this is... This looks like a, a big win for Minnesota here. It's it's gotten out to a huge number. It was just eight like a day ago. Uh, but when Sean Tucker announced that he's not going to play, I mean, that was all she wrote for uh, for that line. So give me uh, give me the Golden Gophers to cover the 10 here. Uh, I know it's a big line, but I just don't see how Syracuse stays in this game. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.